It is a new training facility called Apex Officer X2. The new opportunity allows Breezy Point, Nisswa, and Pequot Lakes police officers to train in virtual reality world. Reporter Hanky Hazelton has more on the story. No, we don't have to do that. We can get you some help. Can you drop the knife, please? It's a virtual reality system that allows us to train officers on uh, life-saving techniques such as um, de-escalation, crisis intervention um, with limited resources. Sergeant Garcia says once you enter into the system, you really get immersed into what is really happening. You can tell that their adrenaline is rising. You can tell their heart rate is rising. You can watch them breathe faster. And so once you, they get in there and they start interacting and doing with the scenario, it's almost like uh, they forget that it's it's virtual reality. Those scenarios are pre-built but can have new ones added depending on the situation. We can do anything from mental health calls to uh, burglary in progress to an active shooter situation. Um, so basically the, the whole gamut that allows us to really um, work on de-escalation and, and working through um, tactics with some of these scenarios. For those of you at home, looking at this, it seems like it's a video game. But after talking with Breezy Point's mayor and being put through the simulator, she said it's like being put through a real world situation and she hopes to see more of these in more police departments. You're really put in a position that allows you to be in the position that a, a police officer would be in if they're coming up to a traffic stop or they're coming up on an active shooter. And it does give you that sense of um, how am I going to react to that situation. And I think that everybody really should be put in this simulator um, to get a good sense of what it's like to be a police officer. Sometimes training can be difficult to attend, but the department is always looking for ways to better and keep its community safe. This is a system that not only allows us to work within our agencies, but also to work with other agencies that um, we might respond to calls with, and we can really build some of those relationships so we know if we respond to a call with, with Breezy Police Department or Cross Lake Police Department or Pequot or Nisswa, we know how we're going to react, we know how we're going to respond, and then it gives us a better opportunity in the future when we go to actual calls um, so that things go smoothly. Reporting in Breezy Point, Hanky Hazelton, Lakeland News. Sourcewell provided funds for the equipment. The mayor of Bree <clears throat> Breezy Point says she plans to bring this program to state legislature legislators. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.